found themselves in trouble again this morning. Down four elimination. They battled back. And on this play, we went to sudden death. Brian Steffen trying to set a new record, a 14 consecutive beach win. But it wasn't to be. Brian Lewis served it up. Then got the dig. And Whitmarsh put it away. And the streak was over. Dry has left the beach. And now the title is up for grabs. It's going up against Brian Lewis and Mike Whitmar. Particular semi-final. The first serve is an ace by Mike Dodd. Mike Whitmarsh and Brian Lewis did not take much of a warm-up because of the fatigue and exhaustion suffered by Mike Whitmarsh, but they have to come out and tune in right away. Mike Whitmarsh going to get a lot of serves in this one. And he taps it over the top. Our officials for today, Greg Krause is up, our first referee. Second referee, Brent Lee. You can also call him the umpire. So Greg Krause in control. Brian Lewis has his fan club working. Only player wearing no socks. He's tough. Dodge. And Lewis with a dig. Lewis. Come on, Powers Powers in the side. All the players out here doing the best they can to protect themselves from the sun. Either wearing hats, visors, sunglasses, as you pointed out, Chris, three out of the four wearing some sort of foot protection, foot digs or socks. Except for Brian Lewis, the young kid from Newport Beach. That ball's hit out of bounds, so now we keep our eye on Mike Whitmarsh. He won his first professional tournament this year in New Orleans. And uh, he is a fabulous volleyball player. Only been on the circuit for three years. And uh, the question is today, can he survive? He played very, very well a little earlier as he bangs one down. Survived in matches earlier in this kind of heat. But you can bet that an experienced team like Mike Dodd and Pat Powers are going to serve Mike Whitmarsh every ball. And not just lob it to him, but work him short, work him deep. Mike Dodd somehow, I should say Mike Whitmarsh somehow has got to find a way to gut this out. Pat Powers puts the ball away. Pat Powers, of course, one of the great names in beach volleyball and indoor volleyball, a gold medal at the 1984 Olympic Games. Best spiker in the world in 1986. And here comes Whitmarsh. And he snaps it through. So Mike Whitmarsh looking good early. That's an excellent matchup between Mike Whitmarsh at 6'7 and a good leaper against Pat Powers, who I think is still the most intimidating blocker out on the Pro Beach Tour when he's focused, can really get up and over the net. And Brian Lewis goes into the net. How tired are Lewis and Whitmarsh right now? Well, you have to divide that. Brian Lewis, I don't think, is fatigued at all. Uh, Three-day tournament, he's young, he's recuperated, he is ready to go, no problem. Mike Whitmarsh, a different situation. Very tired, he's got to get himself into the flow of this match slowly, and Dodd and Powers aren't going to let him do it. Tapping right there, and Dodd, oh, he cuts out of bounds. So Mike Dodd cutting that ball out of bounds and giving up a possible point. It's 2 nothing. Dodd Powers here early. Easy point scoring opportunity. Mike Dodd all over the loop shot by Mike Whitmarsh, but just slicing it out of bounds. Maybe feeling a little pressure. They've had a long time to rest. Both are hungry for a win. Lewis can't get there. No, no, no. Pretty nice shot there, talking about Mike Whitmarsh getting IV, and that's just a saline solution that they put into him. Not unusual in professional sports, is it, Paul? Well, we were talking to the medical staff here, which is on-site at every Pro Beach event, and they said a lot of NFL linemen, it's uh, standard operating procedure uh, at most NFL games. The big guys go in and get an IV solution at halftime, and uh, same thing for Mike Whitmarsh. Whit over the top. No one. Come on, come on! And right in front of Whitmarsh, Powers Dinks. No! Mike Whitmarsh trying to survive right here, just gutting it out. And Pat Powers with a great little shot, but Whitmarsh not able to react. Remember, they got off to a very slow start in the match before the final as well. Match before the final, Tim Hovland and Adam Johnson had their chances. But they chose to serve Brian Lewis because Hovland thought he could block his former partner. It didn't pay off. Well, and Lewis had a big smile on his face. Brian Lewis played with Pat, I should say, at Tim Hovland last week. Hovland called him up and said, kid, you're out of here. I'm going with somebody else. So a little payback by that man right there, Brian Lewis. Three to nothing is our score. 
And down the line goes Mike Dodd. Mike Dodd, a great story. He's been one of the great volleyball players in USA history. Earlier this year, an article criticized him very heavily, put out by Volleyball Magazine in April, said Dodd was washed up, said he was through, even said he was a bad sport. And that really got him going this year as the ball put away. Mike Dodd, a very proud volleyball player, a volleyball player who always takes time to sign autographs and please the fans, but he was stunned, and he has made it his goal to get back on top, and he's got a great chance in this one. Well, you know, it goes all the way back to high school. He got cut from the high school basketball team, was frustrated by that. He came back, made all state as a senior. Then he went down to San Diego State. Oh, he's getting blocked here. He's faced adversity throughout. He goes to San Diego State as a freshman. They want to take away his scholarship, but it's this kind of play right here that Mike Whitmarsh has caused problems for for all of his opposition. But Mike Dodd has always fought back and got a personal trainer this last year and really improved. A couple of former basketball stars, Mike Whitmarsh at the University of San Diego and Mike Dodd at San Diego State. So Whitmarsh against Dodd, both drafted by the pros, Mike Dodd by the Clippers out of San Diego State. Mike Whitmarsh after a stint in Europe by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh taps it out of bounds. So fatigue may be showing here a bit early. Four to one. The team of Dodd and Powers has the lead. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland back at the Miller Lite Open here in Seal Beach. Dodd and Powers out very quickly on Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh tapping it right to Dodd. That's a block and out of the reach, another point. Powers complaining to the referee, Greg Cross. That was a good play by Whitmarsh. Well, a good play, but a violation of the rules. You cannot block the set. And Pat Powers was just block, just bump setting the ball to his partner. That's why Mike Dodd's still back to serve. They now up 5-1 and on the good side dominating. Mike Whitmarsh has received every serve. So got to put the ball away. And he makes one through. Mike Whitmarsh has to hit the ball. He can't tip the ball around the block. Well, Mike Dodd is fresh as a daisy, even at 35. They've been resting for a number of hours because in this double elimination format, they won the winner's bracket, so they won the right to go and rest, and he's all over the backcourt. Whitmarsh has got to come out, fight through the fatigue, fight through the cramps, and hit the ball. Dodd. Nice dig by Lewis to get a point. Louis. No, he missed it wide chance to get on the board gets out of the grasp of Brian Lewis and the strategy very very apparent Lewis no receptions Mike Whitmarsh all 11 Lewis and Whitmarsh trying to work on Dodd but to no avail early and Dodd is right there to go to six and he cranks it Mike Dodd has not won a beach volleyball tournament since last year in San Antonio, Texas. He and Ludies worked over the Alamo, got a win, but he has been winless since then. Well, Mike Dodd worked very hard in the offseason, as we discussed, and got back together with Tim Hovland. And then Tim Hovland dumped him when Mike Dodd strained a groin at the Manhattan Hi. Beach Open, and Dodd was really upset about it because he had stayed with Tim Hovland through thick and thin. Hovland had some injuries earlier, and I think Mike really, really anxious for a victory. Whitmarsh and Lewis in trouble. They take their first time out. Dodd and Powers looking great. Coming back to Seal Beach, it's seven to one. Here in Seal Beach, Dodd and Powers ahead by four, Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland. As play continues, yes, there is an ambulance on hand here at most professional beach volleyball tournaments. There is an ambulance present in case of heat exhaustion, heat prostration, and interesting with players have kind of a joke since Whitmarsh has used the ambulance so much to sit in. They call it the Whitmobile. <laughs> the Whitmobile. And they do it in a fun way, but he has had his experiences in the back of that ambulance. He's, he knows what the inside looks like. One of the paramedics is going to start charging him rent. And suddenly Powers and Dodd have gone flat. They, you ask me, how do you play with cramps? You score some points, and that gives you all kinds of confidence, and then you start flowing and really playing beyond what your body is able to do. But Mike Dodd and Pat Powers right now making a couple unforced errors. Okay. Mike Dodd on the attack. No! Oh, and Lewis missed it. Dodd likes that line shot. He likes to turn it right down the line, and he did. Like his partner for years and years, Tim Hovland, Pat Powers bump sets every ball. The preferred technique is with your hands. Mike Dodd used to hitting the ball eight or nine feet off the net. you got to have a good line shot. Still working on Whitmarsh. Powers is up on it. Whit, dink, score. Nice shot by Mike Whitmarsh. 
He has learned finesse in the past couple of years. Didn't have that shot two years ago. Play one play at a time, trying to drive through it. Is Mike Whitmarsh on the good side now, trying to serve a little tougher. That's over. And Dodd comes one through. A Sinead O'Connor look-alike. Props to Vertlick. If he takes that hat off, you'll know why. He can't afford to take that hat off, can he? He would have a burned scalp. One of the bald eagles said when uh, he and some of his teammates were in Washington, D.C. recently visiting the president, they could not go out in public. Everybody knows the bald eagle. Whitmarsh thumps one down, and all of a sudden, Mike Whitmarsh getting his second breath. So Brian Lewis, how many aces does Lewis need in this game to win it? Five. How many's he got now? None. Okay. So Lewis has to crank it up. Good. And he ticks the net. So Pat Powers will go back to put the ball in play. 1974, he was a wrestler. Santa Monica High School. He's in the 10th grade. And that's a lift call. Pat Powers went on to finish his wrestling career. He got pinned by the state champion in 17 seconds. <laughs> Went belly up. Six feet, 112 pounds, not a lot of leverage. Powers now, 6'6", six, six, about 210 pounds, solidly built, 8'3". And that falls out of bounds. Back-to-back -back unforced errors by Mike Whitmar. So just when we think he's starting to get into the flow, feel a little bit better, he lets the weather and his fatigue get the better of making a couple of mistakes. And calling time out here right now, Brian Lewis and Mike Whitmar, and a good one. Second time out for Lewis and Whitmar. Our championship final, 9-3, Dodd and Powers in command. Seal Beach open, all of a sudden. Dodd and Powers rolling here, 9-3. Lewis and Whitmarsh had a very, very tough previous match against Hovland and Johnson. It appears to have taken something out of both of them. Well, it's taken a lot out of Mike Whitmarsh. That is the first ball that Brian Lewis has received, and watch for him to move over and take much more court. Not like tennis, just covering your half. Brian Lewis will move over next to Mike Whitmarsh and cover as much court as he possibly can, try to steal a couple of serves. Mike Dodd, his wife, Patty Orozco, the former UCLA star, now going by Patty Dodd. She's playing on the WPBA, the Women's Professional Beach Volleyball Circuit, doing quite well. Whitmarsh, got right to Powers. Ball. Powers looking to drill one. And he does. The best biker in the world in 1986. Thought about making an Olympic comeback, Paul. Well, went down to San Diego where the USA men's national team trains and where he trained for so long. And look at the turn down the line. There was no better outside hitter in the world from 1983 to 1986. Pat Powers was just clearly the best. Whitmarsh. And he snaps one. Dodd spears it. That's coming. And Whitmarsh into the net. So everything going well for Dodd and Powers. A team that has played together off and on for the past couple of years. And Whitmarsh in trouble now. Lewis and Whitmarsh have already taken two of their allotted four timeouts. They got to take another one. And here we go. Mike Whitmarsh needs a break. Fatigue setting in on Mike Whitmarsh. Dodd and Powers ahead by eight. Mike Whitmarsh and his partner, Brian Lewis. Mike Whitmarsh has just turned his cap around in rally posture, and boy, do they need one. I think he just has to think, not whether I can last the entire game. How can I put every ball away? Just get one ball down at a time, and, and sometimes if you're having cramp problems or experiencing twinges, you can work through it. Just one contact at a time. Just pass this ball, set this ball, hit this ball. You cannot overestimate the heat and uh, exhaustion that these players face out here over three days. Lewis, the wit. Nice save by Dodd. And the dink score. Pat Powers just operating, known throughout the world as PP, the big outside crank, but also showing you he can indeed slice and dice with all the best of them. Mike Dodd motoring, as we've seen for years and years. And there's the change of pace, the little slice off for the score. In, in, in. Powers working on Whitmarsh deep. It's 11 to 3. Whitmarsh and Whitmarsh tapping over the top. So powerful, Mike Whitmarsh. We'll serve it up. Now you wonder why doesn't he rest after he hits it? He has to run up to the net to block. 
That's his other job. You see him right there. Come on, Lou, go! And Louie can't get there. Mike Whitmarsh is doing double duty. He will serve, sprint to the net. He's 6'7". He's the big man on this team. Brian Lewis is smaller of the two at only 6'1". He's the defensive specialist. I'll tell you what would be a good strategy right now. Brian Lewis should move over in the center of the court and take most of the serves instead of having Whitmarsh having to stay in there. He should stand right in the center of the court. He's quick enough. Exactly. He is quick enough to cover 80% of the court. Just make Mike Whitmarsh for the next 10 minutes just make him a setter. Let Brian Lewis go over and take the entire court. Brian Lewis should know that. His father was a star player in the 70s, Brian Lewis Sr. Your partner has cramps. He's feeling tired. Get him out of there. Whitmarsh. And Dodd has it. And that ball out of bounds. So Whit and Louie get a point. We'll be back with more after these messages from your local station. Come back against Mike Dodd and Pat Powers. So far, it has been all Dodd and Powers. They have dominated this game. Mike Whitmarsh obviously suffering from uh, heat exhaustion. Powers and Dodd on the good side now and as an experienced team should do. They have a good lead. They're going to make Mike Whitmarsh work for everything. Serve him short, serve him deep, make nothing easy, have no mercy. One of the strategies if a player is about to cramp, serve him short, make him bend down. Induce those cramps. Uh, Powers. Nice play by Whitmarsh, and Louie spins it out of bounds. Just missed the far line. Brian Lewis has had two good point scoring opportunities and has not capitalized. You know, Mike Whitmarsh giving it everything he has, as is Brian Lewis, but you have to make those conversions when you get the opportunity when your partner is just dying. Up by seven, Mike Dodd. What a story. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Looks like he's going to get another tournament hey, win. Come on, Pat, come on. And the dig could not be brought up. Mike Dodd, 57 wins. He's two behind Tim Hopland on the all-time list. Dodd in fourth place on that list. As Lewis will serve. I and Powers puts it away. So the veteran team, uh, Mike Dodd and Pat Powers. Talking about career wins, look at that. 67 against three. Experience, 20 against six. Paying off so far in this one, 11 to four. And Powers twists it inside, so sensing the kill. Pat Powers goes for it and jams it through. Smart play, knowing that Mike Whitmarsh is going to be slow recovering defensively. Look at this. Look at the little pirouette. Never saw the defense, but just sensed that Mike Whitmarsh would not be able to make the move. Deep set here. And Dodd has it. Dodd. Put it away. So Mike Dodd is sizzling, and he knows he's closing in. Of course, the all-time win leader, Susan Smith, followed by Randy Stoklos, and then Ron Von Hagen, Tim Hovland, and that man, Mike Dodd. So Dodd trying to pick up another win along with Powers. It's their tournament to lose as they lead here 13 to 4. 15 years ago, a child beat. It is not going to matter. Dodd and Powers are rolling it up. I'm Chris Marlowe, my partner Paul Sunderland. The championship final here in Seal Beach. Lewis and Whitmarsh have done everything they can. That's another point. But they are just being thumped here by Dodd and Powers, an obviously exhausted squad. Yeah, just nothing left. Mike Whitmarsh gave it everything he possibly could. Got the IV treatment. Everything for the game for the fans couldn't get it done. It is championship point. Lewis. And Lewis puts it away. So Brian Lewis. He's had a phenomenal year and thought he had a chance to win this tournament, but it just got too hot. Those two coming from the contenders bracket had to play a couple of more games. Fans trying to get him going. But apparently it's not his serve, so he gives the ball to Whitmarsh. Not a bad fake. He has a much tougher serve than uh, does Mike Whitmarsh, but the umpire's right on. he got to serve in order, obviously. Powers. And putting it up, Lewis had it for a moment, and he tries to jam it over Kenan. Good effort. 
not enough against Mike Dodd and Pat Powers. Kart Shirai and Ken Stephens, of course, eliminated yeah, from this tournament. Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos playing in a tournament in Spain. And interestingly, Karch Karai had a funny comment. He said, to get a win, Sinjin Smith and Randy Stoklos had to go to Spain. <laughs> finally to get a win and I, ironically Karch and Kent lose here a team that's been the scourge of St. John Smith and Randy Stoklos. Smith and Stoklos the reigning kings of the beach until this year uh, have not won a tournament since Karch Kirai returned from Italy. Tough way to get frequent flyer miles. Absolutely. So Lewis trying to crank up one more run a couple of jump serves he could get on the other side which is the better side. Powers and Whitmar. The lead may be insurmountable, the result's predictable, but Mike Whitmarsh, in spite of all the fatigue, is not going to quit playing. Strategy for Powers and Dodd, just loop it over Whitmarsh. Don't ever hit, because you run the risk of getting stuffed. If you poke it over, at least he has to run around and get the seat. You have a 14-5 to 5 lead. Powers and Dodd have this one in control. Third championship point for Pat Powers and Mike Dodd. Watch it, Ruth. Go ahead. Why? Hey, come on. This could be it. God for the win. Got it. They talked about Karch and Kent going for the record, breaking the record, but in the end, Dodd and Powers prevail. We'll come back to Seal Beach. Have some more words for you after this. Stay with us. Mike, 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 Mike. 